history of really industrial-based agriculture has been higher and higher inputs. And what that has done is it actually activates those organisms that break down the carbon. So the soils get less and less fertile. They get less and less capable of holding water and the soils become more degraded. So the fertilizer is one of the big challenges. The tillage is another one of those big challenges. So we get more erosion, we get less water penetration and less water holding capacity in those as well. As a matter of fact, the FAO of the UN has stated we have 60 harvests left on this planet. And that's because we continue to degrade and lose soils at that rate. That's alarming. That's as alarming as climate change right now. I'm Tim LaSalle and I'm co-founder and co-director of the Center for Regenerative Agriculture at California State University, Chico. So in essence, this is where we're focusing at, at Chico State and with hopefully companies like Whole Foods and with Mega Foods about regenerating those soils and how do we reinvest in the biology first and therefore in the carbon sequestration and carbon capture where we know we can capture levels unimagined. As a matter of fact, by some of the research that's emerging now, we could capture more than what we emit, which means we could move into a drawdown condition and start to correct our climate crisis. It's easy for folks to get paralyzed by the fear that they don't think there's anything we can do. We have to passively accept a fate that doesn't look very good. And I think as a leader, as an organization, we're made up of folks that um, are proactive and want to take action to make things better. We're a relatively small company, but it's important that we punch heavier than our weight. We can make a difference greater than ourselves. And so we're very focused on regenerative agriculture because there actually are ways uh, to return the nutrient density to our food, which is the base of our supplements. So one of the things that we can make a quick correlation to, particularly as, as consumers trying to understand what will make us healthy, is we're learning that our own personal gut biome is a critical element of that. And what we eat feeds certain organisms within our own system. That gut biome affects our moods, it affects our immunity, it affects our overall health. We actually need those bugs, we need the good ones to do the good work. Well, the soil is the same way, and we've been killing off organisms over eons with plowing, with chemicals, and that's what we have to restore in its biome and get those organisms, multi-multi-species of fungi and bacteria and protozoa and amoeba active and working with each other to bring the nutrients to the plant to make a healthier plant, to make more nutrient-dense food for our systems as well as the soils. Our customers care about where their products come from. They care about how they're made. They care about purchasing products from brands that are driven by impact first. What I wish our customers knew a little bit about was all of the work that we do behind the scenes. The partnerships with our suppliers where we really go deep to not only understand the ingredient deck that we see when they send the products in, but actually their sourcing. And then the care and the impact by which we make those decisions. Um, and the fact that we are not primarily driven by financial benefit, but really by curating the best possible assortments, things that we are proud and comfortable taking ourselves or bringing home and putting on our families because we've done all of that work up front so that our customers really can feel confident in the choices they make in our stores. This is a message of hope. What we're talking about with regeneration or taking care of our farming community or growing more nutrient-dense food is a message of hope. I've been in the environmental space a really long time and it was always really fear-based. We're all facing a collapse. We're all, you know, we're gonna lose our food source. We're gonna lose water. We're gonna fight wars on water. And I think it was really hard to activate against or to educate within a store or from a brand because we didn't have solutions, ones that we felt we could own and, and make progress towards. What inspires me every day from the day that I met Tim LaSalle 10 years ago to now is that there's a solution. It's quite literally right below our feet. And 
We each can do something. We each have a role to play. When we think in terms of how would our food system look when it's really regenerative, and how would the planet look when we've really gone into regenerating the soils, what would happen is our cropping systems would be much more diverse. We would absolutely be growing foods for human, not so much for feedlots. We would start to return some of that land into grazing systems. So we need com more complexity in our system. And it may, in some cases, reduce some efficiencies. It may be that the dollars we're spending for our food maybe should be a little bit more because it's what we're spending for our water, what we're spending for our climate, what we're spending for our own personal health. And actually, it's the best investment any of us could make for ourselves and for the future generation. I really think we can change the agricultural supply chain. I really do. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be doing the work that I do if I didn't believe that. I've spent my career working with farmers and you know, one thing that's really inspiring about farmers and farm workers is they get up every morning at the crack of dawn and no matter what, they, they get up and they do the work. And I think if we all get up and do the work, we can really change the way um, the agricultural system runs in our country.